This is Openly Hostile Opinions, with your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to, people, at any time I want to. Now we're cooking with evil guys. That's the same. Yeah, that's the same. What's the voice of the people? How much do you do? Big and brave, I am discriminating. The crime, which are weakening on the other side of you. Hey, let's get this party started. Mom? <laughs> This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. Hello everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Casey. Uh, next to me is Jay. <laughs> he shaved his beard, got a sex change. Uh, no, I'm just joking. He's way hotter now. Yeah, it's Ashley the neighbor, everybody. It's been so long. <laughs> yes, it has. Uh, Jay had some things to take care of, so he can't be here on the show today. Uh, I have no idea where Greg's at. Greg is probably fucking an animal of some sort. So, uh, yeah, I got Ashley today. How how you been? Good. We good. So much better. So much better. So much better. <laughs> yeah, it's probably been uh months and months and months since you've been on the show. Oh we God, always talk forever. about it. Yes. <laughs> God, it's been forever. Actually, since Greg's not here, we should have got Jason. He's not even home from oh, work. Oh, he's yet. not home from work yet? Yeah. Oh god. Because that's life. Yeah. Uh her boyfriend works for a satellite company. It's we'll just... Dish. He works for Dish. <laughs> You're just gonna say I'm done. Yeah, he's done. Like, you hate, I'm over it. You hate Dish that much. I hate it. Why? What? <laughs> That's horrible. They're not. I would never. They just. They're just a. Just. Greg is in my basement. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, he's not back yet. That sucks. Uh, yeah, it's like this every night. Is I it? Know. Well, I know sometimes he'll leave at four in the morning, and not get back till eleven at night. Yeah. Um, he hates his job. Uh, Ashley hates that he has this job. So um, much. Did, didn't you get a job recently? I did. How's it going? I haven't technically started till tomorrow, but... Oh, why? Well, I... I thought you were supposed to start the 27th. Yeah, well, I technically did because <laughs> I spent, like... I spent, like, weeks, like, two weeks studying to take my uh, exam in Harrisburg. You had to take a test? I had to get my license to oh do insurance. God. Yeah. There's an insurance license? There's multiple. I just, what the fuck? Yeah, I just got... I got my first line, and then... Uh, in a couple weeks, we'll go back and take my second. So I got property and casualty first, and then I'll go back and take life and accidental and health, I believe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just uh, I just switched to uh, my insurance company. I got free renter's insurance. That's really <laughs> shitty. Do you have to do any of that stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's part of, like, the homeowners. So homeowners actually. So you're not just doing car. You're doing no, everything. No, it would be automobile and home and um, eventually in a, like a couple weeks, hopefully, it would be like life and accidental and health and yeah. uh, renter's insurance and farmer's insurance and commercial insurance. and. Goddamn. Yeah. So uh, you heard it first here. Uh, if you need insurance, just get a hold of Ashley. Come check me out. <laughs> yeah, I got free renter's insurance and it was like, hey, you'll spend this much money. It was like thirty dollars cheaper than my old insurance. That's awesome. And they're like, "Here, here's free renter's insurance because you bundled it." I'm like, "What the? I don't know." I felt like I was collecting bundles of sticks. I don't know. So, and then you know what they're that's like, called? "Huh? What? Is it? Yeah, it's called a faggot." <laughs> 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 well, I too. That's my maturity level. <laughs> yeah, I know. A bundle of sticks is called a faggot. She's not wrong. <laughs> iTunes don't delete us because I said faggot. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's what it is. I forgot about that. Uh, so for about 30 bucks less, I got free Redders shirts and Carn shirts. And they even said that when I leave, like say I go on a trip or something and I take my laptop with me, my laptop gets stolen since it belongs to my house so they cover it. Yeah, that's normal. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not used to nice things. Yeah, yeah. That's actually <laughs> normal in your renter's insurance. It's like a, it's like a form of uh, almost like a liability insurance that you put on your house. Um, on top of like your belongings inside, yeah. I sound like a really big nerd right now. Hey, hey, you were taking <laughs> tests and everything like that. It sounds like to me you're passing. <laughs> <laughs> like I will say this, there's so much I had no idea about. Oh, I bet, man. Like so much, and you would think because I've been driving since I've been 16. Yeah, I'm almost 35. Uh huh. I've Unfortunately. Had... Yeah. No shit. I hate my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Someone help! Send help! <laughs> They're not getting better. I, I know they're not. <laughs> Everyone's like, I love my thirties. They're fucking amazing. You could do what you want. I'm like, I could do what I want. My twenties. I will. I like my thirties better than my twenties. Really? Yeah. Which is sad considering what's happened to me in my thirties. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So like I've had like automobile insurance since I was 16. Yeah. And you just I had no idea what oh, was covered fucking, and not covered. Yeah. I had nothing. No I, I don't even know what I really have because there was so much paperwork in front yeah. of me. I was just like, okay, I was signing everything. I was signing everything. I'm like, okay, can we just get this fucking I over? know. It's ridiculous. And then I had some trainee, so it just was god awful. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be there soon. I know you would. No, yes. that just sucks because I know that once you were getting this job, I was having to switch my insurance and I was just going to wait. But well, I was I mean, like, you I was can paying switch anyways. Much. No, Again. I, I get a really good deal right now. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe I'll get you 80, a better deal. 80 bucks a month, renters and car insurance. Before I mean, it was like 108 bucks a month, just car insurance. And it was only like, what is it? When I crash, it covers them. That's basically oh, it. you only yeah. had the other driver coverage. Yeah, it was yeah, fucking horrible. Yourself. It was god awful. I hated it. It was too expensive. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, still doing it. I'm still doing the quote. Hey, if you want a quote and you live in Pennsylvania, <laughs> should hit me up because... I have um, to give out quotes. Yes. From what state are you scoping from? Pennsylvania. I just said. Pennsylvania. I don't think he heard. Oh. <laughs> uh, Papa Pupa. I don't know how to say it. It's like French or something. <laughs> Six. Uh, yeah, we're from Pennsylvania. Uh, usually, it's me and my friend Jay. We do a show called Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, we do it every Tuesday around 8 o'clock. But Jay is uh, training to be a transformer. Uh, like I said in the scrolly thing there, because I didn't know what else to type. <laughs> Just transform, right? I didn't yeah. read it. Yeah, don't read it. It's not even funny. <laughs> a really life? That's what you put? Become a really life? God damn it. I made a typo. <laughs> Actually, I could change that right now. Hold on, because that's going to bother me. <laughs> Hold on. Where is it here? I feel like I had to at least like bring Kevin into the... There we go. Podcast by correcting your grammar. And your oh, spelling yeah. And yeah, Kevin. I remember when Kevin was on the show uh, about a half a year ago or whatever, he was correcting my grammar and shit. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, Kevin. Does Kev watch the show still? Uh, no, I don't think so. Tigger does. I I, th I thought I saw him in here under Tig the Neighbor. but Yeah, because I, I yelled. I was like, that, you can't be Tig the Neighbor. I'm Ashley the Neighbor. You can't steal my stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Does, does uh, your boyfriend know that you're on the show? Did you text I texted him? him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I texted I was going to say, once he gets home, if, if he should have just came over, we could hook his mic up real quick. Right. Uh, right. It cooks like a fun show. Uh, we are not Nazis here. We do not cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew what you meant. Uh, yeah, we have fun. Uh, we just talk about stupid shit on the news, what's going on. Uh, like last week, we were talking about a Goodwill store in Florida uh, accidentally was selling a grenade launcher. And... Uh, you can buy a dildo now called the Rub Grub that orders you pizza after you climax. Oh, my God. That's great. I know. It's called the Rub Grub. That is amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. It says amazing. masturbation. It was saying masturbation is, is very, very tiring for a female. So it orders you pizza afterwards. You hook it up to your Bluetooth wireless. <laughs> it's called the Rub Grub. I'm that like, that's, that's genius. That is genius. Actually, I had a Does it order it after you're finished yes. or when you start? So basically, you turn the vibrator on. You're like, mm, flicking the bean, you know, Mexican <laughs> dinner, whatever's going on down there. <laughs> and then uh, after you turn it off, I guess it orders you pizza. That's great. I know. It's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, Jay said I could be Tig the neighbor because I'm his neighbor. That's true. You sort of are his neighbor. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, but like I was saying, I was talking to my friends about this. I think I have an idea to become rich. I'm in. <laughs> 
Because I really I, like not working. I know, me too. <laughs> uh, but I have no idea how I'm going to do it because I don't know any scientists. But um, I think it would be very popular for drug dealers. Um, what, I want to be Nancy. So, I mean, we're good. What would happen is is it would be a chip. And this chip you put in your body. Okay. Now, what happens is, is say you die. What this chip does is send everything to your phone, computer, and laptop, deletes all your text messages, and deletes all your internet history. I mean, that'd be great. I know. <laughs> that would be, I feel like the federal government would be like anticlimactic about that. Why? Like, Why? They don't want they your stuff They deleted. wouldn't order a pizza afterwards. They don't want, they, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. No, they don't want your stuff deleted. Do you know how many times my Alexa talks to me throughout the night? That bitch is only supposed to talk her. Why does she talk she's to you? spoken to. It's random. Why? I, I thought know. she's not supposed to talk to you. She's not. <laughs> it's supposed to be like if I say Alexa, yeah. connect to Ashley's iPhone or Alexa, dim the lights or mm-hmm. Alexa, blah, 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 well, blah. What, it, what does it say randomly? Uh, the other night that we were watching something on the TV mm-hmm. and um, the person apologized in like the movie or whatever. And she responded with like, um, that's OK or like something like that or uh, we'll be talking and she'll be like, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you said. Or oh, it's like, not. I never used to do it. Like when we first hooked it up and stuff, it, yeah. it didn't do anything like that. And then like five, six months in of having it is when it like started like That's just randomly creepy. talking. That's fucking creepy. Tuffy says, I have a confession to make. What would that be? Alexa wants your soul because the CIA made her. It's the FBI, I heard. FBI. Yeah. CIA is out of the country. FBI is in the country. I'm not too upset about it, though. Like, whatever. I'm just like a little fish. It's not yeah. like they're going to be all upset because Ashley has a little bit of weed in their house. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about that. Weed, exactly. Weed's legal medically in Pennsylvania right now. That's it's $300 right. for a card. You can just buy a card? Yeah, it's $300. But you can just buy a card? No, they have to. You have to get approved for it. But what oh. you do is you fill an application. That's 250 bucks, And then the card itself is 50 bucks. Do you know uh, how much weed you can buy? Oh, yeah. And I heard it's like, what's normal weed uh, THC levels? I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. I d- don't fucking quote me on this. All you potheads out there like, yo, man. <laughs> like, like say that this stuff. True potheads really don't know that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. Uh, I guess it's like 50% for normal. And then like it's like 90% for this medical stuff. Um, oh yeah. Well, the me- yes, the medical stuff. Yeah, is, is, ridiculous. is extremely higher. But like I said, it's two hundred fifty bucks for the for the application, and then fifty bucks uh, to get it. I guess, and I guess the closest one around here is like Pottsville or some shit. I think that's not shocking. Yeah. So that it's, is in Pottsville. But like I said, that I think it would work though because the government doesn't own the internet. You know what I mean? Don't they? No. Don't well, they, they think they do. <laughs> they think they do. But I think, dude, I would sell. I think drug dealers would sell the shit out of it. Oh, of course. Because it would, if they had family and stuff like that, it would dis- disconnect all the drugs and all the stuff in the family. Uh-huh. And you wouldn't be able to read shit. That would be awesome. But I have no idea how to get a hold of a scientist to make a chip to put in someone's body. <laughs> what if there was an app? Good point. I know someone that makes missiles for Raytheon. Actually, I know two of them. I don't I could... know these people. <laughs> <laughs> One... Oh, I thought there was a spider next to me Jesus for some reason. <laughs> Must be the meds. Uh... <laughs> I'll be out like in no time. <laughs> um, that's right. I forgot you're definitely afraid of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> you and Chelsea both are. Uh, Take the Never says a recent news story had people complaining of Alexa laughing at random. That's weird. Yeah, that that happened. She just like she, she started just like laughing out of nowhere. Why? I'm telling you, it's very random. You, you don't even like know what's what's like. You'll just be talking and then you hear her kick on out of mm-hmm. nowhere. And she's either like answering something or telling you something or laughing. She told me a joke the other day, which she will do if you ask her. Yeah, I knew if you asked her, but she just. Yeah, randomly but no, said she this. just randomly told me a joke the other day. Like it's it's weird. Yeah, that is weird. But when I want her to do something or find something or figure out something, she all of a sudden acts retarded. Yeah. Because that's re- – yeah. Uh, Take Their Neighbor says, don't they put chips in dogs? Yeah. Um, what they use for those chips, actually – and they're starting to put them in babies now. I don't mean to get all like Alex Jones conspiracy here. But they're starting to put them in kids. And it's the same chip they use that they use on your credit cards. You know, the yeah. little annoying chip. Um, well – it's that, and they put it in cats and dogs, and they're starting to put them in kids, like I said. Why are they putting them in kids? Because they do the whole, like, safety thing. They're like, what if your kid gets lost, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, they wrote books about this. You're not supposed to do this kind of stuff. You chip your children. 
and well, the thing is, is they had legislation saying that they wanted to make this mandatory, but with the constitution, you can't do that. It's, it's unconstitutional. You can't force something in someone's body. You know what I mean? So they just put it in everyone's credit card. I mean, all in all, <laughs> it's really not that bad of a thing. Like if you could chip your kid now, I'm thinking about it. You're like, always oh, going to know where they yeah, are. Yeah, but who's times, in control but... of the chip? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> That's so a good point. Like I, when I see these like, uh, internet, you know, uh, commercials on tv they're like we now just got into video cameras and it shows this guy sitting there that you know touches children <laughs> like five six seven eight a night and he's sitting there like with his headphone on his little pot collar shirt and he's just watching this family come in from school and i'm like that is so fucking creepy man like does anyone not think that's creepy i just don't understand it i don't know it's fucking weird i i never oh man it's just it's just weird i don't get it it's whatever we're not going to get into conspiracy shit like that but i just think that's weird <laughs> like could you have could you have cameras in your house if if like comcast was hooked up to him or anything no yeah see what i mean it's I weird enough other that you people hooked up to it what's like that if i want cameras i just want to see what's on the cameras i know but all these cameras nowadays are hooked up to the internet so who can actually see them you know what i mean that's what freaks me out and the system that I do want would be it would is the um, the uh, the Alexa show. I don't know what that is. It's like the screen. Oh like yeah, screen. yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. that was just a joke for the Super Bowl party no. or for Super Bowl commercial, yeah. or whatever. That's actually a real thing. Yeah, the Alexa show is a real thing. It's a uh, it's like a monitor, if you will, mm. um, and the monitor attaches to, um, of course, Amazon specific yeah. to Alexa cameras that you can have installed. So you know how my house is. Like I really need a doorbell. Yeah, you do. And uh, I'd like to have a camera down there so that I could see, you know, from being it being mm -hmm. down the steps and stuff. And I could get the like Alexa show where I could have that camera hooked right up. So if the doorbell should ring, I could look at the screen and be able to see who's down. Yeah, there. be like, Alexa, who's at the door? And right. then she'll tell you a joke or laugh or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, Mandy, uh, Jay's wife says, Ashley, hello. Hey, girly, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Mama Bear. Hi, Mama Bear. How are you doing? A little late to the show. Um, Mama Bear, Jay's not here. He's uh, busy doing stuff. We really don't know what. So we have a guest, Ashley, the neighbor today. She's uh, been on the show before. She is my neighbor for real. True story. And we're talking about um, the NSA spying us and stuff through Alexa and shit. <laughs> uh, Tuffy That's says great. Ashley is hot. There you go. You got a compliment. I did. That's awesome. Thank you. She loves compliments. I do. A lot. Uh, Jay's wife says, I'm doing okay. That's good. That's good. I'm glad everyone's doing okay. I just, yeah, don't say it out loud. What? Life's good right now. Is it? It is. What, what's so good about life right now? Is it because you got a job a and job. a little stress is taken yeah, off? Oh, my God. I can sleep without my sleeping pill for the first time in a year and a half. I told you that's what it was. <laughs> I said, you don't have a job. You're going crazy. God, but I don't know anything. Oh, my God. It was so weird, too. Like that day that that, that place I worked for hired me. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm really just not going to say it because, like, it's a, such a big company. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't say it. I yeah, wouldn't say it. Yeah. Um, but, uh. That, like, I got hired that morning. I have not used a sleeping pill since. <laughs> I told you that's what it was. She's been a little stressed out lately because, you know, she recently uh, quit her job. She was, you know, she had some money saved up. So she was like, you know, not in a hurry to get a job. But not having a job was stressed her out. I was like, I was like, you're not really doing anything. You know, you need some. You were putting like 5,000 piece puzzles together. <laughs> <laughs> coloring. That the cat just would fuck you up anyways. Coloring. Just, just shit to paint. The, and I'm like, dude, you're fucking, you're losing your mind because you you're not doing insane. anything. There was like legit, like Jason looked at me one day and was like, like, how long is this going to go on? And I was like, how long is what going to go on? And he was like, your nervous breakdown. I was like, <laughs> you did. I, uh, I was like, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. You're the uh, only person I know that's had like an eight month nervous breakdown. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you were having a bad oh one. Oh my God. Like I remember you know one day what? I had to come like, over and give you an ad of Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. That day was bad. Yeah. And like, and I didn't even have a nervous breakdown when I got divorced. Like, really? Yeah. So no, this was worse I think than this a divorce. Was it. Yeah. I think that like, it was everything together. Like, wow. God, I'm not even 35 yet. So I have since I was 32 uh -huh. till now. Like I've been divorced. I've moved. Like my grandfather died. I yeah. lost my job. When your grandfather died, that was a big deal. That that put me like if I was like even close to breaking point, that did it for me. I know. But here's the thing. This, and this is what helps me get through tough situations. 
when you been through all this because the worst thing that could have happened was your pap dying yeah. when you not have a job and it happened. Yeah, oh, that killed me. You can get through anything now. I can. I've seen you go through fucking shit. <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit water. I swear to God, since <laughs> I've known Casey, my life has just been shit. <laughs> uh, Papa says, Ashley should be a part of your show always. Thank you. That is very nice of you. I try all the time. They I think me. you heard me say uh, you like compliments. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, so... And that's the way I take things. If you can make it through that, you can make it through anything because it was a rough time. And, it was, for uh, sure. <clears throat> and that reminds me, um, I got some great, great drugs. It's called Ola, Ola, uh, fuck, Ola Anzapine, I think it's called. It's fucking amazing. It's the best drug I've ever taken besides Ativan. I, that's I love that's that. the best drug ever. I love Ativan. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That takes me from like a level like... <laughs> 50 out of 10 <laughs> <I> know, <dude. laughs> to like a two in like five minutes. Out of is the best drug ever, but this stuff I take at night. They say the only really side effect is weight gain, but I really. That's a huge side effect. I know. That's why they I'd don't rather describe. be crazy. See, and that's why a lot of people don't take it, but I'm telling you, it is amazing. I don't notice the difference. I eat like once a day. That's it. I really, I don't think I'm gaining weight. I think I've always been a fat ass sort of. I'm Megan. Little... Has uh, Casey gained any weight? <laughs> yeah, she would probably. She know. would be the one. She to sees know. me naked more than I do. So. Yeah, she's gonna know if, um, if Chunk over here is put on weight. You <laughs> probably did because you're comfortable now. What do you mean I'm comfortable? You're with somebody. I don't. I don't know. Am I with her? <laughs> she's wow. Still, she's still I not. Mean... <laughs> she's still not my girlfriend yet. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I feel like at this point, it's a lack it's of because I've been through a lot with women, and I just I don't know what relationships or love is, and I gotta find that again. <laughs> she already knows all this. Yeah, I know she knows. <laughs> Me and yeah. her are very open. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, that's awesome. I just like I'm saying like usually when you spend like as much time as you guys do together uh -huh. and how close you guys are mm -hmm. and like truly faithful and like together to together you're together. actually we don't spend that much time you're together. together we only see each other wednesdays fridays and saturdays well that's like that's not a lot if you ask me it's I not a huge amount yeah. no when we are together though like i stay the night of course. and yeah. shit like that but we're not we're only but together, you're not like... with other people when you're not yeah seating each other yeah exactly, right yeah. so you know you're yeah. together yeah. Whatever you want to call it, though, is cool for you, too, if that works. Kathy 69 joined. I thought that was my mom. Jesus Christ. I was like, she wouldn't do 69, though. Jesus <laughs> My mom's <Christ>. name's Kathy. <laughs> Maybe it was the only number that was left. What's that? Yeah, maybe that was the number that was available uh, after Kathy. Probably. I don't know. My mom calls having sex Yahtzee. So I, oh. did I tell Does you that story? Does she even know what 69 is? Then? I don't think so. Yeah. I just said, uh, Mom, this isn't my first rodeo the other day. And she never heard of that saying before. Which way? I don't know. Abby I was like, Mom, when you were day. younger, rainbows were in black and white. You're old. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know how you didn't get that. Abby asked us the other day. We were um, gone to the record store. and uh, we Unusual. Were, no, I'm yeah, just joking, no Jason. <laughs> we, uh, we drove by your mom's house. And, like, she, I think, legit almost had, like, a meltdown in the back seat because I wouldn't stop and see the damn dog. Jesus Christ. She... I have a I mean, she's got some serious yeah. hormonal yeah. issues yeah. right now, but... <laughs> is she... Is she uh... No, no, it's still all right. Sorry, I wasn't gonna say it out loud. I wish, <laughs> I just wish. Uh, Mega says he's just terrified of me. Yes, I am. Uh, she's abusive. She hits me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, my mother has a Saint Bernard, and her daughter is just obsessed with it. Um, I'd say the Saint Bernard's probably 180 pounds, somewhere around there. It's huge. Her daughter could probably ride it. Um, I think she tried that. Yeah. Right? I'm not. <laughs> and it's pretty crazy because Saint Bernard's usually have floppy, hungover ears. But this one had an ear infection when she was younger, so they had to clip her ears. So she sort of looks like a panda bear. It's weird. Yeah, if you ask it's me. It's really weird. But she's a beautiful dog. She's yes. super nice. And Ab's, like, just adores her. I was like, we're not just randomly stopping at Casey's mom's house to see the dog. <laughs> yeah, last time we were there, it was for my birthday, I think it was. And uh, her daughter seen my mom's dog and just bawled. Oh, my God, she bawled. She went into, like, a, just a nervous breakdown because she wanted this dog so bad. That's how much she likes St. Bernard's. And Ash is just like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> like, we yeah. were just standing there like, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing this? Yes. Like, she's, oh, my God, it's so hard right now. Like, just 
the age right now. She's turning 11 she's soon. She's already 11. And I still haven't watched yeah. Stranger Things yet to oh, know what the fuck that yeah. invitation even means. Jesus. She sent me an invitation for her daughter's birthday, and it's all Stranger Things themed. And it's I'm a like, badass reading. Invitation. there's like waffles or something about yeah, it. Yeah, the first hour is like Lego, my ego. So they're going to have waffles with yeah, toppings I have no idea instead what of that like means. cake or pizza. Uh, Papa says, I have to go. Love your show, but someone is calling me on the phone. Okay, thanks, man. Uh, like I said, we do this every Tuesday at eight o'clock. So, uh, come back. We're always here. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, I, I, I love the invitations. Like you can tell you put a lot of work into them and everything. I just have no idea what, I guess some girl's <laughs> name's 11. Yeah. Is that her name? Her uh, name is yeah, just plain old 11. 11. Yeah. She looks like, I see pictures of her. She has like a shaved head and shit. She sort mm-hmm. of looks like Susan Powder mm-hmm. or Cheryl Connor in that nothing mm-hmm. compares to you movie. Yeah, almost identical to that. Yeah. Is her name just plain old 11? It is. Okay. She looks like a science experiment. She is. <laughs> see, I, I, see, I got that. I got that for some reason. I'm like, she's either a hardcore feminist <laughs> or, or she's a science experiment because of the shaved head bullshit. She is. We all know here that I love feminists. <laughs> so much. Yeah, so much. So much. Uh, um, Ever since I've been in a relationship with Jason, though, mm-hmm. I have to say, which, by the way, of all the shitty things that's happened to me, that's like the absolute best thing that has ever happened to me. Okay. So that kind of does make the rest of this stuff not so horrible for the last couple of years. But what well, with the, the job and yeah. your daughter going hormonal. That's ridiculous right now. <laughs> did, I, did you finish her room yet? Is her room yeah, finished? It yeah, is? Yeah, pretty much. I got to put her desk up yet on yeah. her wall. But other than that. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to you. think Jason would let me borrow his truck? Probably. <laughs> I, I need to buy a bed. And I, since I got a new car, I don't have a truck anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he would. And I never realized how not having a truck sucks. Yeah, it's always because nice Because all a of a sudden, I need a queen-size bed. I'm like, fuck, I have a car. I, I bought a 55-inch screen TV today. Got it for 380 bucks. Where? Walmart. It's a Phillips. It's amazing. It's a I, Phillips. <laughs> I was walking through. Is it like a 4K? Yes. Really? But I don't think the 4K is working right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why uh, it was 300. <laughs> uh, I don't think the 4K is working right because it just, I don't know, it's not working right. It looks great, sort of, but I don't know. I think, um, don't doesn't 4K, doesn't have to, don't you have to go through your cable company to get that working? Because don't they have like HD channels and stuff? Well, yeah, you have your HDMI cord. Yeah, I already have that. And then that yeah, and then you have to get HD. I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know how it fucking works either. That's why I was like, I was like, I feel like the 4K is not working. Cause, uh, I feel like at one point when I had dish before Jason, <laughs> yeah. I had to have two dishes. One exactly. for regular channels yeah, and one for the Because I lived with the guy that had dish and you needed that. Yeah, you but I dishes. only have, I think, one dish now. Yeah, they. they and I get they, high definition Yeah, channels. they dish. Is it a, automatic? A long time ago, it used to be you needed two. Now they have one satellite with HD and regular. I would think I would know this. Yeah, see, I don't. I just, I just do this because I lived with a kid. But like, the funny fucking thing is, is like, I don't have a truck anymore. So here I am in Walmart parking lot <laughs> trying to fit in a fucking fifty-five inch TV box. That and I couldn't do crazy. it. Everyone's like looking at me, honking, like, hey, I'm like, nice help, fucking did assholes. You put, did you like maybe put your seat down in the back and then slide it yeah, from the truck Yeah, everything. Through? I tried everything. It won't work. <laughs> so you know what I did? Right in the middle of Walmart so park. what you're saying is your TV is bigger than your car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, b- the box was. The box was. Because what I did is, is I just took the fucking TV out of the box in the middle of Walmart <laughs> park a lot and I put it in the back seat. Folded the fucking cardboard and started and, and then put it back there because I could. I was like, this That's sucks. Hilarious. I couldn't fit it in my trunk. Nothing. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it, it sucked. Uh, you don't have an HD box from Comcast. That's probably why it won't work. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I need Comcast to um, hook it up because it just does not look 4K. <laughs> I'm like, this is 4K? I'm like, this is what all the fuss Looks is like about? It's like Yeah, like, I don't know. It's fucking weird. But I do have to call Comcast anyways because I only have one TV here. And since uh, me and Megan are getting a little bit more serious, I'm going to make a bedroom for her. Oh, so she doesn't have to. So she doesn't have to sleep on the floor. Yeah, so she's not living in like a trap crack house. I, right, yes, basically. This I, guy's got like a million bedrooms in this house, yes. and like he lives out of like two and a half rooms. I but yeah, I just sleep in because like, I'm a bachelor, and like I never thought I'd meet someone again. I was like, I don't like relationships. I'm happy by myself, but I always in the back of my head, I was like, if I meet someone, it's gonna be bad. 
it's gonna be it's gonna take off and i knew it would see because it's always it always happens when you're not looking for it i mean it, you know, absolutely yeah like jason was just supposed to be like my fuck buddy up the road yes and and then he stayed. same thing happened to you he just spent the night and never left yep. and we've been together it ever was the fourth of july was the fourth of july which i heard a rumor that they made mortars legal that's so you know how we had the thing. Yes. Yeah, we can do it even bigger now. I yes, guess. and I have a job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we, we live in a small town here, so we just – the whole community, we're just going to donate money and we launch off fireworks on the, every 4th of July. It's amazing. Her boyfriend gets sloppy drunk, can't walk home straight. It's, it's amazing. It's great being our anniversary. <laughs> no. I know, and that's the thing. Like she's mad because uh, – Jason's very patriotic, so he gets wasted on Fourth of July. And just she's, the Fourth of July. Yeah. That's it. He just gets wasted. On yeah. He drinks, <laughs> but doesn't get really that shit faced except on the Fourth of July. Um, Megan says the crack den. Yes, for real. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I moved in here. I didn't think you know I was going to meet anyone. Like I said. Uh, it came out of nowhere. So when she comes over here, we sort of sleep on this mattress on the floor <laughs> in my living room. This little mattress, <laughs> mind you. I know. It's like a kid's bed. I know. I don't even – I don't We I fit don't on there know. somehow. I don't know how. Well, it's because uh, you guys are still like, woo, and yeah, love and stuff and cuddle and shit. Yeah, it's – whatever. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to turn one of the bedrooms. Uh, so I, I just bought a TV for my living room. I'm going to take the 32-inch, put it up there, and I need to call Comcast because – for some reason, you have to have a little box now. I remember when you got cable, you could just hook up the cable and it would work. Yeah. Now it's like you got fucking it's stupid. I hate. It's it. stupid. So it's all pain in the ass. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do up the room for it a little bit like that, so she has somewhere. Um, I feel like I'm going to get raped. Yeah. It's it's just bad. Uh, I might sneak over. What's that? And rape her. Oh, okay. That's fine. maybe. That's fine. Uh, my bathroom doesn't even have a door on door on it. It's just god awful. See, somebody else heard it. It wasn't just me. See, Chelsea, no. See, you're the instigator. You push. You push drugs and emotions. And emotions. <laughs> Jesus. We all heard it, Casey. No, how, how do you get I'm making a bedroom for her so she because doesn't we're have to sleep in a trap Because we're serious now. Because we got serious. That's what you said. Because we're serious now. <laughs> I didn't I say I made that. her a bedroom. I said I didn't. That's like 50, gray, 50 Shades of Grey kind of shit. What like, do you mean? Because, like. He made her a bedroom at his place. Oh, did he? Yeah. What is... I keep getting compared to that guy. I wonder. <laughs> huh? I wonder. I'm going to smack you around, <laughs> choke you a little bit. No, i just saying I've been told that I do stuff like him. <laughs> I don't know, but... Uh, I just keep getting compared to that guy, and I'm just like, I never fucking met the guy in my life, never watched any of his movies, <laughs> or whatever he does. I mean, I didn't watch any of his other movies, I just what, watched these her, movies. What, what's her name in the, in, uh, you have Dr. Gray, and then you have, what's her name in the, Dr. her character? Gray. Her name's not, his name's not Dr., it's Christian, Christian Gray. I thought he was a doctor. No. He's just rich as fuck. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. He's, he's an just... entrepreneur. <laughs> he's an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. And what's her name? Um. Shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck's her name? It doesn't matter what her name is it again. It doesn't. The storyline whole... <laughs> doesn't even matter. Who gives a shit? I know, because I remember when the first one came out, it got voted worst movie of the year. <laughs> it was. I mean, if you went off of, like, storyline or any yeah. of that shit. Yes. Thank you, Chelsea. Anna. Anna Steele. Yes. Okay. Anastasia is her full yes, name, I guess. Anastasia is her full okay. name. Um, I would know if my boyfriend would have taken me to see the last one at the movie theater on valentine's day see and that's the thing they market that shit so good like they released it on valentine's day yeah, yeah. so they know the women are gonna be annoying do you know how many women shit. got pregnant during the release of those books oh like i guarantee it i think it's another baby i'm boomer. saying that like se women's sex life became a whole different it playing became more field acceptable after those yeah. books came out and not even like more acceptable but it made me look at things way differently than I would have ever looked at them in the past. Like the books made things appealing that otherwise would have looked or sounded frightening. And then when you see it in the movie, even though it is like the books are like, God. Yeah, you can't compare a book to TV. <laughs> Or and, movies. And the movie. different it was so forms. toned down. Yeah, they're different you know? art forms. You can't fit all yeah, that shit in a book into a movie. So toned down. Even the <sighs> level of sex and the the level of dominance and mm. all of that was toned down. But you still saw bits and pieces of things that you would have not normally experienced. Mm -hmm. If not through those books and those movies. And I was probably super naive to begin with. 
I had only ever been with one person at that point my yeah. entire life. So So this is probably like, oh my lordy. Yeah, it changed like my <laughs> entire outlook. And 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 my best friend Kristen, her and I are both like that. And when her and I both read these books at the same time, we were both like, Oh my God. Like I never would have imagined, but this stuff uh-huh. is actually appealing. Because from what I heard, he doesn't just always beat the shit out of her. Like no, he, he beats it's the very shit out sensual. of like, sensual. Like he might whip like, her and then kiss her. Yes. So he like a, And it's not like he's raping her or anything like I, that. That's how I take she it. She can say no. <laughs> she can say, you know, yeah, they're stop safe words. And, and Me and Megan's are sauerkraut. That's <laughs> <I'm just stuck>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just no, because I heard that, you know, he's very abusive, but he shows that he, you know, likes her. He, he, you know, maybe he'll whip her, then kiss her where he whipped her or right. shit like right. that. He's not just all right. balls of the wall like, you get dick. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And then in the end of the second one anyways is when he really comes out and is like, I'm actually a sadist. I'm not a dominant. And so. Wait, she kinda, does or he, he does? He does. So he, he comes out at the end of the second, like in the book and the movie saying and that says he he's likes, actually a sadist. And, so he likes the pain. Yes. Okay. Yes. He's so, he's the sadist. Out so of she it. probably tries stuff with him. Um. No. Actually, it all stops. All the. I mean, it doesn't all stop. But I was gonna say, it kept people reading. His. Um, <laughs> no. His his uh, way of aggression uh-huh. from the beginning uh-huh. and how he treats her because their relationship in the beginning it is just strictly um, dominant and submissive. Yes. And that's it. Mm-hmm. So when their relationship starts to form, that kind of changes a little bit, and they do more normal things. And then Ugh. at the end of the second one, sounds god awful, is when he <laughs> says like I'm a sadist and explains why he's a sadist and why he's with certain women, uh-huh. and uh, like, you know, he says I, I like to cause um, pain and oh, he likes to cause it. Yeah, okay. he likes to cause pain to women who look like his mother. Oh. God, that's deep. Yeah. That's real deep. Yeah. Because Damn. his mother was, was a, a whore and a, and a crackhead and died when he was well, like three and uh, was in the house. And Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No, no. So, See, I thought I, – I was getting confused um, because uh, I thought a sadist was the one that liked the abuse. And I was like no. picturing, you know, these girls in leather wearing the German outfits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? With the whip. That's still frightening. Yeah, is, is. I don't think there's any movie in the world that will make that not frightening. I I I, um, I actually didn't know it was that deep with the mother thing because yeah. I actually I I like dishing out pain to women. I don't know why. I don't think it's that deep to where you know I'm like if they look like my mother I'm gonna beat the fuck out yeah, of them. Yeah, of course. Like his, that's sh- his reasoning. His reasoning is is because he wants to take out his pain on women who look like his mother. See, that's deep though. Yeah. Like that's that's yeah. like that's but, probably a real like, thing. To yours believe it could or not. totally be because of your pain that you've had in the past. Maybe I don't know. I just like making women cry. <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's a dominant thing, I think. Of I, course it is. In real life, I'm very passive. I'm a very nice person in real life. I agree. I'm a little too nice, if you ask me. Sometimes, yes. yes. I'm just you know over overbearing. I think with some niceness. I just I my mom raised me really well. That's what I she you know told me treat people like you want to be treated and stuff like that. And I've always known that. So I think in the bedroom, I don't have to be that. You're and right. I th- and I think that's what it is. And you I don't just, have to be a mama's boy in yeah, the bedroom. I don't I don't have to be like this nice like oh and I also I'm in the restaurant industry, so I gotta be nice, nice there. All the time. Yeah, so I have to be nice all the time. So when it comes down to the bedroom, you know, it's like Ooh. <laughs> like you know that caveman SpongeBob meme? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get like because <laughs> I don't at have- this. Megan knows like all the terminology. Oh, she's insane. She's insane with it. You should have seen what I got her for Christmas. Is it like a dictionary of like no, sexual terminology? No, it was like these uh, bracelets, a chain, a leash, all sorts of shit. And I got uh, it in white because I thought it was more dirty that it was white because it was like. Because it'll get dirty because it's white? No, because like we were taking white, which is like a pure color, ah, and turning it. That's all right. Okay, yeah, so it's I like, see, it's like really, it doesn't look like sex because there's like white and sparkly. But like I like that because it was like. We were like turning pure into dirty. I don't know. It's fucked up. <laughs> He's nasty in the bedroom. Thanks, Hazy. Thank you. <laughs> You're not nice. Stop lying. Uh, I've been waiting weeks for the. Wait, Casey, where is Greg? Did you ask him my question? No, I didn't. I thought he was coming tonight. 
Uh, I texted him on Facebook and on uh, through messages, and I can't get a hold of him. So, uh, yeah, I don't know where he is. I, I hope he is not doing drugs again. Like he didn't relapse kind of thing? Yeah. Perhaps. Because I thought he had a heroin problem, but he uh, was more addicted to coke, I guess. He said he did heroin to come down off of crack or cocaine. Hmm. And he used to inject coke, wow. which is on a whole nother fucking level. I can't even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, enough to talk about S and M. No, that was good. I liked that. That was pretty cool. Um, Ashley, move. Hazy, who are you? I feel like you know us. <laughs> uh, he overdosed. Oh, I hope not. That would um, be horrible. Since Ashley's here, I thought we'd do something special this week. Oh wait, maybe Greg did answer me. This is Greg right now. Hold on, Let's see what he said here. If my phone would fucking work. Um, can you? No, I told him yesterday I couldn't. Okay, Greg. Just uh, hope you're not dead. Um, I don't think you were ever with us when we played Would You Rather. Were you? I remember. Do you know what Would You Rather is? I have an 11-year-old girl. Oh, okay. Sorry. You were gender. <laughs> that's pretty funny. As men. <laughs> Would you rather? That's, that's the first thing it tells me. Your gender, male, female, or other. What? There's no other. Should we no. pick men or, fe- or woman? I feel like woman, it's going to like tone it down a little bit so we should pick men oh because women are not as oh these are good ones yes because because i thought it would just like so if anyone has not played would you rather heard of it what we do is is you download an app and it gives you two questions you have to pick one of those questions and if me and her don't match up with the hive mind as you would say it because they do they take a poll of this and there's a certain amount of percentage of people that pick one answer over the other so if we get it wrong we have to do a bean boozle which are disgusting did you do this with us yet yeah did you really yeah <laughs> it's pretty bad like there's mm-hmm. um booger dead fish toothpaste uh lawn clippings barf uh, stinky socks. Spoiled milk's the worst. It's the hor- It's yeah. horrible. Spoiled milk actually makes you want to vomit. Oh, it's gross. Uh, canned dog food, rotten eggs. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go. And if we don't match up with the hive mind, uh, we have to spin the dial here and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, take one. So the first question is, would you rather not be able to have sex or not be able to love Oh, yeah. I read that. I read that. I was like, oh. That is the worst question For me, ever. it's not be able to love. I don't I don't, I don't give a shit about that. Sex is great. Love. Sex is great, but love is amazing. Yeah, because so. sex, the worst thing is you're going to get 18 years of child support for me. I don't care. Whatever. Seven to go. Okay. I don't know what to hit here. Uh, which one are we going to pick? Not not be able to love, right? Yeah, that would be worse. Um... Fifty-three percent said not be able to have sex. <laughs> I that's crazy. There's a lot of horny people taking yeah. these things. So go ahead and spin that's that. That's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> What's it say? It's either the pear or the booger one. The pear or the booger. One. Let's yeah. see if I can find. Ugh, this doesn't look good. This looks like shit. They all look like shit. All right. They probably all taste the same now for me in there. <laughs> I know. So no, they were in individual packets. Di- oh, okay. All right. So this is pear or booger? Oh, I got pear. You got booger. <laughs> See, I don't think it tastes like booger, though. I think it tastes like stale basement. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky socks one really does taste like what I envisioned. Stinky socks. It really? Does like, it? Yeah, it's gross. Ugh. Yeah, I got booger. Ugh. It smells like my daughter's soccer bag. <laughs> All right, so would you rather have the voice of the opposite gender or have the body of the opposite gender? Voice. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with voice. Have the bo- – what? What is wrong? Oh, no, we got it right. We got it right. Okay, good. All right, have the voice of the opposite gender. Okay, next one. Would you rather cheat and that your partner doesn't find out or don't cheat and that your partner think you cheat? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. All right. Would you so rather... Cheat and, and your partner never know. Yep. Or... Don't cheat and that your partner always thinks you cheat. I, I'm going to tell you the honest... Jesus Christ, this is a horrible question. <laughs> no, isn't it? <laughs> Jason, uh, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say... I'm going to say cheat and never have my partner find out. 
is, is, is the better option of the two. Because if you're accused every single day of cheating and you did nothing wrong, uh, you're going to cheat anyways. <laughs> if you're going to get accused of it, you might as well go do it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, don't cheat and that your partner thinks you cheat because <laughs> I can't live with myself. <laughs> I mean, not that I've ever cheated. But yeah. I have spent 15 years where I thought. Well, you got to spend because you're wrong. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the caramel corn or the modi cheese uh which one is this this is because they all have like dots on them or something like that and i can't really and they're the same color i know i think it's uh i don't know actually Hold on. i think it's this one so this yeah, one is caramel right. corn or moldy cheese <laughs> oh. oh is it the moldy yeah. cheese <laughs> can't spit it out that's against the rules mm. All right, next one here. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> I know it is. The Ooh. moldy cheese is pretty bad. Mm. It's the 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 rotten egg and the sour milk are the bad ones. Like I can sort of smell the sour milk from here, and I'm like getting nauseous. <laughs> you all right? Ugh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you brought a Pepsi. Good mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next one here. Would you rather? Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is right up your alley. <laughs> all right. Would you rather? Be beautiful, but always unhappy in relationships. Or be ugly, but always be happy in relationships. Be ugly. <laughs> really? Uh, I would be ugly, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, we got it right. 79% would say be ugly, but always happy in relationships. All right, that's good. We're not... We're not We're not too vain? Yeah, we're not too vain of uh, pieces of shit assholes here. <laughs> um, all right, next one. Uh, would you rather be famous and never find true love or be average and find true love? Be average. Yeah, because we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, 83% said be average and find. A lot about love on here. There is a lot about yeah, love. Are like... you sure you went to the men one? What's that? Yeah. Sure you went to the that's men what one? I was saying. I was like, it sounds like a woman one. All right. Would you rather? Another relationship one. All right. Would you rather that you were in a relationship with a handsome person or that you were in a relationship with a smart person? <laughs> God, this is like <laughs> this is like really okay. I hope Jason listen, doesn't watch this. <laughs> three with this, so this would be better. Okay, so listen. Fortunately for me, Jason is super smart, and I find him to be super attractive. Okay, so I have both. In the past, though, I would have always said one hundred percent. I would rather have somebody that's super attractive than somebody who was super intelligent. Uh huh. So I go down to Harrisburg a couple weeks ago. I take my test. This guy walks out from the testing room. Mm-hmm. He is like built like no other mother effer I've ever seen in my life. Okay. He's tall. He's built. He's super attractive. He opens the door, smashes off the side of the wall, bounces off the door and then back and then makes some kind of like joke like. <laughs> the wall like bounced right out there in front of me. <laughs> and so then, he was like, just dumb as shit. Sa- yeah, and then <laughs> sat down. And in that instant, every ounce of attractiveness just that he had was gone. Yeah, that's I how I I was like, am. you're an idiot. Yep. I can't do that. That's so I'm am. going to say now, old, I'm going to say intelligence is way more important. So you'd rather be in a relationship with a smart person? Yes. Okay, me too. 59% said, <laughs> said uh, they'd rather be in a relationship with a smart person. So that's good. We're doing good. This is this is building our yeah. Our, uh, I feel like I'm all our grown integrity. up now. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's another one. I don't I don't know why these are all like about like relationships. I like the because other one. Men are more into relationships, I think now than women are. Yeah, because women are like men these days. Yes. <clears throat> all right. Would you rather kiss a smart but ugly person? Or kiss a dumb but cute person. I'm going to kiss a dumb but cute person. It's not yeah. a relationship. Yeah, I know. How about it? 76% said kiss a dumb but cute person. Yeah. All right. We're on a roll here. All right. Next one. Would you rather have sex in a car or have sex on the floor? <laughs> you know, that's a tough question to be realistic. I'm saying floor because I hate cars. I hate having sex in cars because okay, there's I... too many crevices to get your limbs stuck. And I hate it. I'm going to say car. Only because getting your ass rug burned lasts for days. Yeah. I remember one time I had sex with this girl. I was wasted, so I wasn't, like, paying attention to my knees. I had blood running down my shins yeah. the next day. It was god-awful. So yeah. you're saying a car? I'm saying car. All right. I'm better. saying a floor. 53% said on a floor. So go ahead and spin. 
Less cars friends. are uncomfortable. I hate no, having it sex with cars. It completely is uncomfortable. I think that's just because the other 47% were women. <laughs> Probably. Of that. And because we're the ones that get our ass burnt. Oh, can I pick a different yeah, one? Yeah, you just did that one, didn't you? Okay. What All is right. it? All right. It's the purple chocolate pudding. Oh, it's not. I guess that's not. Mm. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? <laughs> I don't taste in anything. Does it taste like a veggie burger? Because <laughs> if it does, it's the canned dog food. Because I heard they, they... I think it's pudding. Really? It's Can't very tell. mild. It's very mild? So, so it doesn't taste bad at all? No. <laughs> okay, then. <that's>... No. <laughs> all right, next one here. Uh, we have... Oh, God. Damn uh, advertisements. All right, here we go. Would you rather have a high-paying job that you hate or have a low-paying job that you love? A low-paying job that you love. Same. Yep, fifty two percent said that. That's not that's not a lot actually. That was like almost It's really not and it's really hard and I actually that's a really hard question because yeah, I have is. the high paying job that I hated. And um I went with no money for a year. <laughs> it's been a year since you were it's working? Over a oh, year. Jesus. So it you was, got a year metal breakdown. Yeah, it was from November of two thousand wait, what are we're in eighteen, right? Yeah. Sixteen. God, it must have been rough. You don't even know what the year yeah. is. <laughs> Most days, I don't know the day of the week. It's I know. Same here. I forgot it was my birthday till two days before last year. <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah. So, since November 2016, mm -hmm. and I technically don't start work till tomorrow, so through March of 2018. All right. That's good. Um, all right. Would you rather never have an orgasm or every time have an orgasm after one minute of sex? Never see, have an orgasm. Yeah, see that's a see that's different. Or because, have one? No, but see that's basically is that, what it's saying. That's different because men orgasm different than women. If if I'm gonna get guaranteed an orgasm every time. Yeah, but but, but, but all right. So we'll have to do this as like a man thing. Women get multiple orgasms. Men don't. Right. So this is what's gonna happen. You have to treat it like this since I picked the man thing. <laughs> uh, after you orgasm, it doesn't feel good anymore. You can't have sex. Like, you can't have sex again. You know how we just go flaccid? Yeah. So imagine having sex one minute in for the rest of your life, and it just stops. Okay. You can't have sex for more I'm longer. I'm still than... having my orgasm. So you're still having your orgasm. So every time you have an orgasm, it's always one minute into sex. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Rate, no thanks. 73% said every time have an orgasm one minute of sex. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> uh, would you rather marry your crush and divorce after 10 years? <laughs> That's what would happen. <laughs> or be only friends with benefits with your crush? <laughs> you sort of have experience in one of these. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it was 12 years, though, instead of 10, but yeah. Um, I'm going to say marry. And marry your divorce. crush and divorce after 10 years. Um, I'd say be only friends with benefits with your crush because then you can do other stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. 70% be only friends with benefits with your crush. That's ridiculous. How do you Nobody get your ass kicked? to get married anymore. I know they <laughs> don't. I don't blame them. Marriage sucks. Sometimes. If it's with the wrong one, it's <laughs> they're really always sucks. wrong. They're, they're always the wrong. wrong one. Um, <laughs> buttered popcorn or rotten egg? Oh, this looks god awful. I hope it's. Have fun a, with this one. Please be the popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. Popcorn's actually pretty good. It does. They the rotten egg sort of sucks. <laughs> you can't spit it out. <laughs> I like how I like how quick it is too. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh. How come the ones that taste good don't do that? I don't know. Mm. I have no clue. I'm just glad I'm losing or uh. I'm winning. <laughs> All right. Next one here. Um, would you rather love only? I don't think the people that type this know English. They're probably Love 12. only person. <laughs> That's the first three lines there. Love only person. Um, love the only person who is in happy relationship or never love anyone. Wait, I Wait, don't get what? this. <laughs> this is not. We're skipping this one. I think. That can we? Make sense. Can we skip this? Yeah, we're gonna skip this because I don't understand what it means. There's another um, app dating uh, advertisement. Uh, all right. Would you rather? Well, speaking uh, of, do you have to do your advertisement? Oh shit! I forgot. Good thing you mentioned that. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do five more, and then we'll do the advertisement. Okay. Because then we just gotta end the show. Uh, would you rather admit all your guilty pleasures to your family or never have any guilty pleasures? 
I'd rather admit them all. I mean, are they, if you're admitting them, are, are they guilty really pleasures guilty really pleasures? that good though? No, like I think a guilty pleasure pleasure is like yeah, I'd, I'd rather I not keep have a any. chocolate Barbie <laughs> thing in my like dresser, like or my nightstand. I'd rather but... not have any because with guilty pleasures, you're really not happy you have them. You know what I mean? But is it that kind of part of the fun of having them? I don't know. I'm going with never having bad? any. I'm gonna say having them. Having them. Uh, 57% says never have any guilty pleasures. God, you suck. <laughs> it's because I'm unique. That's yeah, the <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> there are a few women out there like... What's that one? The tootie, fruity, or... St- oh, this is the worst one for me. Oh, the stinky socks tootie, one. Fruity or the I, stinky. God, I don't like, know if we have any of good. those. Good. It's like sticking your head in the soccer bag. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we have any of those because I don't see anyone that look like that at all. It's like bluish or something like that. Um, yeah, it's like confetti looking. Yeah, since... Here, do the berry blue or toothpaste. Well, <laughs> that was toothpaste. Toothpaste. Yep. Oh, you got fresh breath now. Yeah. All right, so uh, four more we'll do here. Would you rather have sex once a year or lose a finger? <laughs> see, see what I mean by how they don't... It just says lose finger. Lose finger. Lose finger. <laughs> Um, sex once a year or loose finger? Yeah. Mm, I've gone without sex for an entire year. You have? Ouch. Twice. Yeah. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> yeah. You can do that when you're married. Yeah, that's And you don't true. want to be married anymore. Everything stops when, <laughs> when marriage no, happens. No, only when Plus you, you had a kid, so yeah. Only when you stop wanting to have sex, but that yeah. happens sometimes when you're married, but... Yeah. Um, no, I'm going to say based on how much I like sex now. Uh-huh. Lose a finger. Do we need pinkies? Yeah, exactly. Lose a <laughs> finger. Um, yeah, 56% says lose finger. All right, three more. Uh, would you rather be the richest person and never have sex or be average and have good sex life? Average and have a good sex yeah, life. Yeah, me too. 82%. <laughs> um, would you rather have one nipple or have two belly buttons? <laughs> <laughs> have one nipple uh really yeah then two belly buttons really yeah belly buttons are sort of dirty like lint gets all in okay well see for me my nipples are hidden unless i want somebody to see them yeah but how do you explain that man i don't know yeah you're with the the same person though so it would get yeah yeah okay the boob's still there so yeah yeah i'd say uh i'm going no i'm going to put like a pasty on it (laughs) Like an iPad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going with having two belly buttons. One nipple thing's I think too weird. Fifty three percent says have two belly buttons. <laughs> the next time we're doing the. I lost questions. once. Do you know that? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like the next time we're totally doing. Ooh, it's dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Ugh, that sounds god awful. There you go. Smoke dead fish trout. is pretty bad. Smoke trout, not crack. <laughs> Yeah, she found a bumper sticker that uh, said smoke trout, not crack. <laughs> How was it? That's good. That's good. All right, last one here. We got to do some advertisement. Uh, would you rather... Oh, God damn ad. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Wish? Wish shopping made fun. Uh, Go it's fuck like it. the worst site ever. Is it? I used to love oh, you it. you tried it? Yeah, I used to love it. But... What's so bad about it? First of all, your shit comes from China, and it takes, like, 12 weeks to come in. Oh, shit. If it comes in. And then when it does come in, you order, like, a women's, like, large, mm. which, I mean, must be based on the size of Asians. Oh, yeah. Asians are tiny. Because, <laughs> like, a women's large is, like, in an America, yeah. a, like, child small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That makes sense now. All right. Let's get a good one here, because a lot of these are, like, fucking weird um, another ad. God damn it. <laughs> all right. We'll just do the next one that comes up because I'm sick. Okay. Look at all these ads are like women twerking too. <laughs> Jeez, what like, are you? What is? I don't know. Fine. Uh, let's see here. Jesus Christ. Why is it all about love? It's ridiculous. All right. Would you rather have no social life or have no sex? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> that's a good one. It's like the best one. <laughs> I know. Because that's really tough. I have to have both. God damn. Um, oh, yeah. That's tough. Jesus. Um, no social life or no sex. I I think I'm going to go with no sex because, like, 
I hate people. I'm a stream intro, like extreme introvert, but I still need to be around people. So I'm gonna go with yeah, no sex. Yeah, I am too. No sex because I have to be around people yeah. to recharge. Yeah, you're my an, life. you're like, an extrovert. Huge. I'm an introvert, so yeah. it's like. But I still need to be around people. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no sex. Sixty-eight percent have no social life. What? What? That's weird. All right, I finally lost one. <laughs> Sauce. <awesome. laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, didn't know she would uh go and get hurt here. Oh, that's on the line. Caramel corner moldy cheese. We already did that one. Dog food. We already did that one. Go ahead and pick one. You pick one. Since you're a guest, you go ahead and pick right. which one we should do. But we're gonna do the green ones because they're the only two I could find that was a match. Oh, did we do them already? I think we did. Yeah, we did. I changed. No, them. no, we didn't. We, we didn't, didn't do, do the lime or ones? lawn mower clippings okay. yet. Lawn mower clippings or lime. Lime. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm basing it on lime just because I can't taste it. It tasted like lawnmower clippings at first, and then it went to, like, lime. I think it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's lime. So, yeah, that was Would You Rather. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We play it every once in a while. Um, so, like I said, I forgot to do the advertisement because I'm retarded and Jay's not here, and he always does that stuff. Jay, you're never allowed to not be in the show again. But um, Ashley's going to come back every Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks for coming because, uh, like I said, Jay had something to do. So um, thank you for uh, being on, Ashley. Yeah, I um, love it. So our, our sponsor is VPN. Uh, VPN is a service that you can buy. Uh, Jay uses it. He says he loves it. Uh, that you can uh, have it block stuff on your internet history so no one else can see it so if you like privacy definitely check out vpn if you're having an affair yeah if you're having an affair yeah block that shit yeah, block that shit uh you can use it for your phone that's what jay mostly uses it for um and if you get it through us with this promotion just go to oho net.pw slash oho vpn and uh you can get a discount there like i said jay uses it he loves it uh, so if you want anything to block from people knowing what you're doing, uh, we highly recommend to get that. So, uh, yeah, thank you to our sponsor, VPN. Uh, and thanks to Ashley. Uh, that is our show for today. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out in the chat room. We had a couple of new people in here. Thank you for showing up. Uh, it's always been fun. Uh, and, again, thanks again, Ashley, for coming. Anytime. Yep, we'll see you later. Have a good one. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs> we are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>